My dad and I would we'd rub our heads together all the time, even though we couldn't hug. A wall filled with pictures, just a fraction of moments in the storied life of NYPD detective Stephen McDonald. I'd rub my head against his head and give him a kiss, kiss on the uh, forehead. Officer Connor McDonald grew up only knowing his dad to be confined to a wheelchair. In the summer of 1986, McDonald was paralyzed after being shot while on patrol in Central Park. They gave my dad three to five years to live. His life wasn't wasn't supposed to be that long after the shooting. We're just so blessed we had the 30 years. Less than a year after the shooting, McDonald's faith led him to this moment. Now I could forgive the kid that shot me. He needed to let people know, I forgive. There were some people that didn't agree with him. He didn't let anger destroy his heart and he wanted to help communities. For decades, McDonald traveled the world preaching forgiveness. Going to Israel, Northern Ireland, Bosnia. The impact he made on others never more clear than in January. And sings my song. On the day he was laid to rest, Connor and his mother were not alone. Every single overpass, every single body of water, like there was people out there, people stopping their cars, saluting my dad. He believed that tragedy that befell him was something that happened to him for a reason, to inspire him, to inspire others. The outpouring was just, it was, I was speechless, really. Father of mercy, we commend our brother Stephen. What do you think he thought his greatest accomplishment was? I think Dad's best accomplishment was you. Yeah. Seriously. The McDonald men would often be found rinkside in Madison Square Garden. When the Rangers won, my dad, like, my dad could be able to walk again, you know? And when they, <laughs> when they lost, like, don't talk to him for three oh. weeks. The team would later repay that respect. And rather than a moment of silence, join together for a moment of cheer in celebration of Stephen's amazing spirit. A standing ovation for a man despite his appearance had no limitations. A father, husband, police officer devoted to others until his very last breath. He is in a better place and he's not suffering, he's not in any pain, and he's, he's walking and he's free. Bryn Gingras, CNN, New York.